Welcome to the first episode on creative business tips and um, it's going to be a series of um, me answering five questions. So um, each video would be split to one question each and I will answer them uh, by giving a, a tip or tips to that question, whatever that you've, you've submitted through my Instagram stories. So um, there were about, I think, 20 questions that came in and basically I, some of them were pretty similar. So I just sort of put them in one question or just sort of uh, plan them as one question to ask. So there will be um, five of this video. So today is the first one and then I'll be doing another, another formal uh, answering the other questions. So um, I'm going to try to keep the video as short as possible and giving you the best tip that I can give. So um, these videos are going to be on YouTube. So I hope you guys can just subscribe to my channel and that you will uh, get first hand update to all these business tips. Um, so let's get to the first question. So the first question that um, I chose to answer was how do you run your business effectively you do so much how do you split your time so I think what stood out here is says that you do so much and I want to correct that because I don't it's not about doing so much and I guess if I guess I am doing more now as compared to when I was doing you know when I first started about four years ago but um, it's not about doing more but it's doing things effectively which was the question asked how do you do it effectively um, so I'm gonna answer that uh, in by showing you and running you through how I would plan out for the week uh, some people call this a focus sheet some people call it a to-do list for me I sort of see it more of as more of a focus sheet or you know focus planning whatever you want to call it more so than a to-do list a to-do list is something that you know you want to check off and you want to make sure that you get it done but um, I guess why I call it more of a focus planning is because it helps you to achieve more by doing less if that makes sense so um, how do you achieve more by doing less is by you know knowing what you need to do I guess as a creative sometimes when I have ideas or when I think about things that I need to plan out for the following week or even the next month I get overwhelmed with the ideas or the things that I need to execute and perhaps you feel the same as well uh, and that's you know some that's why you ask this question um, one of the thing that I found really effective in helping me to focus and to not be overwhelmed by myself you know my own ideas or things that I want to do is actually having a focus planning so I will sit down on a weekly basis and I'll look at what I what are the ideas or what are the things that I want to accomplish for the week and they don't just stay here because the the problem with just thinking them and you know having them in your mind is that you are unable to um, kind of categorize them or you know sort of look at how much of what you're actually needing to do and I find that uh, very true because many of the times when I don't go to my focus planning when I don't do that when I don't write out the stuff that I need to accomplish this week I tend to get a bit more overwhelmed with my schedule and I feel like I have so much to do and so much to accomplish but I feel like I don't have the time to do them but when I start having a you know focus sheet or you know go back to my focus planning on a weekly basis that really helps uh, me to sort out all these ideas and things that I want to execute on a weekly basis uh, and it and I break them down to uh, daily how it will look like on a day-to-day -day basis so this is what I do. I split them into three categories and I will sort of break it down into these three things that I sort of plan around and 
uh, use on a weekly basis and then how that so, sort of translate to uh, day to day. So um, the first thing that I do or the first category I would sort of split all uh, part of my work or goals would be planning or plan. So I think on a week to week basis, there will be something that I need to plan for my business, whether it's um, an event, a workshop, a uh, collaboration, I don't know, whatever else that comes uh, for the next month or even the end of the month or whatsoever. All these things fall under planning. And it seems like there's a lot and like how do I break this down? So what I, what I do is I will schedule a week to do this and in that week I will schedule a few days depending on the complication of the project or the event or uh, the thing that I need to accomplish how much time I need to spend on planning it so it could be a, a just a, an hour in a day it could be three hours in a day it could be six hours in a week so I will put that out into the planning category and what I do is on Monday I will schedule maybe three hours to do this planning and then on Tuesday another three hours so category one planning number two would be creating so as a business owner as a creative I have to create obviously so uh, whether it's creating a video content like this uh, or a tutorial or um, maybe just painting you know for for some design work or just for Instagram yeah um, things like that so I would put into uh, schedule or put into my focus planning on what do I need to create for the week and so I will have planning creating and then the third one would be administrating so administrating could be um, replying to certain emails or um, even writing up a proposal and um, for me it also includes uh, sorting out my orders it could be wrapping packaging my orders and things like that at the studio so um, these things are to me falls under the category of planning uh, sorry administrating so um, there isn't a right or wrong whether this should be under creating administrating or planning it is really up to you how you want to think about you know where this falls under but ideally on a weekly basis your week should have a spread of planning creating and administrating so that I guess it doesn't just so that you're not always just administrating you're not always just creating and then you sort of lose out on administrating or planning for your business so I think this is a very very um, effective tool or system for me to uh, running my business and um, I would and this doesn't happen every day meaning uh, it's not like Monday to Friday I will have planning creating and administrating some days are maybe just for planning and administrating and then some days are for creating and planning so it just depends on um, what are sort of things that I need to achieve on a weekly basis and how much time goes into planning or creating or even administrating. So I hope that this will help you to create a system for running your business or even if you have and have a business and you're just thinking about, you know, building that discipline as an artist or designer, baker, crafter, whatever you are, whoever you are, whoever you want to be. I hope, you know, this way of having a system on a weekly basis will help you to be able to focus on planning out and being effective in what you do. So in the next episode, I will be answering the question submitted as, you know, I want to start my business and I've been doing it part time. Should I quit my job? So this is a, a question that um, frequently asked. Uh, I've seen this around a lot. So I will be answering this question in my next video. So remember to subscribe and stay tuned for the next. See you guys.